Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about an uh, original series. Um, it's called Tell Me a Story. This is season one, episode number one, chapter one, Hope. Um, this episode is directed by um, Liz um, Friedlander. And here we have, this is a, um, this um, series is based off a classic fairy tale like um, The Three Little Pigs, um, Little Red Riding Hood, um, um, the, um, what the, the, the brother and sister called? Hansel and Gretel, things like that, and they're pretty much told into 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 put, put in today. It's, it's like a, a, a retelling of these stories in today's setting. And they may not be actual pigs and or wolves and stuff like that, but it's like a, a, a they take those stories and they kind of model it for today. And you have different scenarios here. You get you get introduced to um to um the Kayla Sherman, who's played by Danielle Campbell. And Daniel Cameron used to be on the um, the originals, and now she's on his show. She's pretty much playing like the, like, like the, the their version of Little Red Riding Hood, but she's a little bit darker. She has a little bit of a past. She's a little bit of a party girl. She just doesn't, she doesn't like to listen to her father. I don't know what happened to her mom. I think her mother passed away most likely, and she now she's staying with her dad and now in New York because she was she was, she was living in, in California and now she's in New York City, and so now she gotta get used to this whole new life. This whole new world, and she 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 also gets introduced to her, to her new school, and she meets she meets a, a friend for the, uh, I guess a, I guess a, a friend a possible friend in this episode, and she goes out partying. So she, she does some drugs. She gets drunk. I mean, she has a fake ID, and she also has sex with some guy or some random guy, which ends up biting her in the butt in the end. But that's what happens. And then you have the other story here. You got um. Jordan and he got his um his um his girlfriend who he wants to be a fiance and um and Jordan played by James Woke and his fiance was played by um was well, girlfriend played by Spencer um Grammer and now Jordan wants to marry his his girlfriend and she keeps putting it off and she also wants to start the family with her too but she putting that off too and she pretty much telling him that she might not want to have kids because the the way the world is now because she, she so it's pretty much set in the day. So Trump is the president in this world too, and all the things that's going on in the world with all the shootings, all the stuff like that. And she's seen all this stuff in the news, and she's scared, and she feels as though she cannot have a child in this type of world. Okay, fine. And so you see him trying to convince her that hey, it's not all bad. It's, people still have children all the time. We can still have a family. We can still be have our happiness. You shouldn't let fear stop us from like having a family. You see them struggling with that here too. And then you had a, a, little, a, a little bit of story of the three little pigs, and you have um, they don't show them all. They just, you mostly see um, Paul Wesley who plays Eddie, and Michael um, Raymond who plays James, and, and and they're criminals, they're thieves, and they want them to do. And, and, and you got um, James who goes to Eddie's house, who pretty much trying to get him um, so, sober enough so he could do this, so he could do this job. So you got all these different stories here. Oh, you also have the whole um. Brother, sister, sister scenario with um, I guess I guess they put be Hansel and Gretel. I'm not so sure. For, I'm not so sure. You have Gabe, who is a um, like a dancer at, at, at a club, and he that's what that's pretty much what he does. And you have his sister Hannah, who is um, and, and Dave and Gabe is played by um, Davi Santos, and Hannah is played by um, Diana Ramirez. And um, Hannah is a, a, a is a soldier who got injured in the line of duty. And so now she's home now, and she's pretty much going through rehab, and and so her and her brother she must have had, must have been like separated for a pretty long time. They must have, I'm not sure what happened to them. They've had a little bit of falling out, but because of an accident involving Gabe, he called his sister in to help him out in the situation because he he'd been through a lot of trouble with the law before, and he's scared to call the police, so he calls his sister to help him out. And excuse me, and you see how they deal with that situation because and because the, because the problem is somebody dies. He's there. He didn't do it, but he was there with the body, and so it just looks bad. Yeah. Now, overall, the show as a whole, it, that, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. It's a good introduction to you to know each and, every, each and every one of the characters. But the problem with the show that I'm having is it doesn't really portray the fairy tale part that well. I mean, if you didn't know already from going in that it was that um it was like a loosely like it's based off of the the fairy tale myth. You wouldn't know it by watching the show. I mean, they do some obvious th in your face moments, but it, like, um, you have the, the girl playing like, like the Little Red Riding Hood. 
um, her mother, she, she's going out and it's, and it's raining a little bit. And her grandmother says, hey, take this jacket f for the rain, a little slicker, and it's red. And so they said, okay, she's a little Ray Rowdy hood. And then you got, then you got um, um, Paul Wesley's, uh, Pastor Paul Wesley's character. You, know, you want to know he's the three little pigs uh, until they, 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 they bring out the bag, the, the, the mask they're going to wear to, to rob the place. It's pig max. And the three of them, so, yeah. So that's, but other than that, you can't really tell how the fairy tale part fits in this world. You don't really know what, how it connects. I mean, very, very subtle, I guess. Or not at all. I mean, I guess, but, but as a show as a whole, the acting is, is done quite well. The characters do seem interesting. You want to see where it's going to go. It has a little bit of, um, it reminds me a little bit of like Pretty Little Liars a little bit. Because there's a moment... Cause um, cause there's, cause um, in Pretty Little Liars, one of the girls sleep with her teacher, and this happens in this episode here too. And the thing is, though, I forgot what the girl's name was, or her name was, but she she pretended that she was older, and so the teacher hit on her. He didn't know she was he was hitting on somebody way younger than her, and just like in this episode in here, she she she, she, she has a fake ID. She's in this club, but she's supposed to be, and she's underage, but she thinks she's older than what she is. They, they they sleep together in this episode, and he finds out later on when he when the new substitute comes in. He comes in, and he sees her, and she sees him, and things get a little bit awkward because he can go to jail. He can go to jail, yeah, big time. Oh boy. So overall, the show itself does seem interesting. I want to keep going, see where this goes. I see. I, I still want to see how it connects to the fairy tale world, but uh, we'll we'll see. So if you have if you haven't watched if you, have, if you saw this episode, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of um, Tell Me a Story. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, mm, boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams of life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh peace out, uh people.